when you hear a call to follow your heart you follow your heart I know You, got you can't hide from me. Bevis can't be happy. About what you got calls attention. He's back at the Sweetwater Distillery. Any idea how he'll react when I go in there? He's bug shit crazy swamp people. How do you think he'll react? Still, might be worth keeping him around. No one knows the bayou like he does. Oh, you one for this, Nikki? Damn right you do. Bevis is waiting for you. Real interested to see how you handle him.
make it happen. Hold on. Get your damn on the phone! Rude, motherfucker. So, anyway, I'll send my guys over to... So we don't got any moonshine at all? Some colored asshole blew it all to hell. Bevers is in his office trying to get an accounting of what's left. Last I heard, we would have locked this place down, shoot on sight. Bevers done fucking around. You and Sean really should come by. It's been too long. <laughs> Imagining things! Figure out what that was. That's on bit.
Emptied out the distillery. It's primed and ready for your boys. Offer's still standing. My boys are on the way. Snatch that slaughterhouse from him, and that fuck Barbieri will have to react. Thomas Burke came to the States as a boy uh, when his father fled Ireland, likely because of his involvement in the Irish Civil War. Um, after his father died of a heart attack, uh, Burke started running booze to support himself. I mean, he turned bootlegging into an entire industry, and Sal Marcano took notice. Uh, Burke worked his way up the ranks, but could never be made because he was an Italian. Hollis Dupree, the white resident of Southdowns who allegedly killed two colored men in self-defense in front of his home, has been arrested. According to Dupree's defense attorney, pressure from local civil rights leaders and growing national attention on the case is what motivated the DA to file charges. The Korean War veteran has been released on bail. the sunny blue. It's really fucked him up with the... Butcher. Sonny's back over at the robber, though. His language has taken an especially colorful turn of late. I take it the butcher didn't appreciate Sonny's loan sharking and protection rackets being disrupted. You got that right. And the Shinola's hit the fan. Sonny's set on getting things back to normal. You know, keeping his people more scared of him than you. We'll see about that. Keep your head down till this is over, hear? Yeah? I hear Sonny's a bit pissed at some mysterious colored fella disrupted his business. Even went all the way down to the meatpacking plant to wait for him. In today's very special episode of Native Sun, we're going to be speaking with a man some of you know, some of you have heard of, Mr. Hollis Dupree. Some weeks ago, Mr. Dupree, a resident of South Downs, was involved in a tragic shooting. The state of Louisiana has seen fit to indict Mr. Dupree, a veteran, I might add, for this unfortunate incident. 
Mr. Dupree, welcome to our studio. I've been listening to your program a long time. Thank you, Mr. Dupree. Yeah, scoot on a little closer to that microphone. Make yourself come. There you go. Uh, now, first, I, I just want to say on behalf of the listeners, thank you for your service to our company. I need resupply and point for done. Going at you. Hang tight. Send someone to point for done to pick up my cash. Sure thing, Cher. Heading your way now. You want something? You let me know. We're gonna Keep take this off safe. your hands. Bonsoir, Cher. Show me what you got. This one. Says y'all are some bad motherfuckers. Well, Vito ain't. Say, he's very, very right. And we got some time to give you a hand. Be the brought 
worst king in New Bordeaux if you work for me. How's that sound, Sonny? Sure. I kind of like working here anyway. Good. Burke's boys are gonna reach out. Slaughterhouse is clear. Send your people. Hey, don't worry about the bodies. My boys will know what to do about them. Everything's in place. The butcher's on his way. Try to put that rabbit dog down. did Lincoln Clay convince Thomas Burke, Vito Scaletta, and the woman known as Cassandra to work together? He called a sit-down. He told them to meet him at an old plantation house in the bayou. When he had them all in the same room, he laid out how they were going to take down Marcano. Lincoln could be very persuasive. Heard many a horror story about the things that went on between these walls. Now we <laughs> What's this all about? Getting ready for some company? Barbieri should be here any minute now. Barbieri's coming here. So he claims. Never known the man to be a liar. <laughs> Just got off the phone with him. I told him if he wanted to settle up, he'd be here waiting. For fuck's sake, Burke, you don't ever tell your enemy when and where you're gonna set up ah, the Ah, Christ, you're much too serious about all this. It takes the fun out of it. Besides, that's the worst that could happen. You could get us all killed. Aye, that I could. It's all right. It's just Mickey. Butcher and his boys are right behind me. You sure? If there's one benefit to being your miserable daughter, it's not know what a posse of Dago assholes out for blood looks like. I'll call him out with a spotlight on the water tower. I'll load it up some barrels with a special petrol mixer cooked up. I'll scatter them across the yard. A bullet will take them out. So don't be close to them when they blow. I'm gonna snipe those guinea fucks from the crane. You should head up to the roof. Oh, 
One last thing. You try to cut and run, I'll plunge myself. We clear? I'll see you when this is done. You might. You all right back there, lass? What's that? My die asking how I'm doing? Whatever have I done to warrant such fucking concern? A ah, shite girl, a simple yes or no would have been fine. The left, they're almost on ya! I don't give two fucks about Burke's little pet nigglet. I want the mick alive. Got it? I'm gonna give him an ass fucking. He's never gonna fucking forget. Bring him back fucking alive, that cocksucker. Save a bullet or two. The nigger and a mech working together. Fuck me. I never thought I'd live to see the day. What can I say? Brave new world. Shall I leave then? I see the legs still giving you fits, huh, fucko? Ah, oh, fuck you. You won't be so cocky once they take the acetylene to you. Fuck you! What do you think happens next, huh? You're gonna die, motherfucker. You're gonna hold next to me. You, your whole organization. You're gonna suck my dick in hell. Grab his legs. Time to get him into the garage. Fat cunt. 
Bond. We were never able to reconstruct precisely what happened to Barbieri, primarily because his body wasn't found until the mid-1980s. The Army Corps of Engineers was dredging the bottom of the Mississippi River, and his remains were found in the trunk of an old car. Both legs were broken so many times there was barely any bone left.